Hello and welcome to another new construction home tour. Today we are going inside the Pinnacle of Bailanar in the Independence Community near Elizabeth, Colorado. Normally I film these intros uh, out with the home behind me because it looks cool. However, it, as we'll see in a moment, it is a very snowy and windy day. So hence I'm back in my home office. If you're new to my channel, what is up? Thanks for watching. My name is Tori Drake. I'm a local Denver realtor who does a ton of work in the new construction space, north, east, southwest, all those directions. I do work in both new construction at and resale homes as a real estate agent. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about either, either of those, feel free to reach out for new construction. Specifically, I would love for you to leverage the relationships I've built with these builders through doing as much work as I've done with them, bringing them as much business, business as I've brought. So feel free to reach out. Happy to have a no pressure, no BS conversation. And guys, uh, enjoy the tour. I think that's all I have to say. Hit like and subscribe. I'll see you in the house. All righty. Here we are outside Pinnacle from Lenore. And as you can see, we have quite the snow day going on over here. Uh, this is in Elizabeth. If you guys aren't familiar with Elizabeth or with just want more information, I do have a community tour of it on my YouTube channel. Um, if it's not up yet, it will be um, shortly. And we have a Snowmass model from Lennar and a Tabor model from Lennar right there as well. Both of those videos are also up for independence. Um, and if once again, they're not, then they will be shortly. Guys, I just uh, I just filmed them. All right, so, Pinnacle, Lennar, here we go. Decent sized patio, nothing crazy crazy, but it most definitely gets a job done on what you're looking for out of the front patio. Nice high ceilings with recessed lighting there as well. This is what the communities are, some of them are looking like. And it's cold, so I'm gonna get the heck inside. Excited to share this one with you guys though. Now this is a, re a nice wide hallway. And I really like the dramatic effect of this accent wall with the office to the left being open. And then those windows, this space feels really big right at the gate. If that wall came right there, it might feel a little tighter. I don't think it'd be that big of a deal, but this space feels really nice right away. I like home offices that are removed from the rest of the house so somebody working doesn't disturb the person, um, people hanging out and vice versa. It's a little dark, forgive me. I didn't hit the lights on. Where is the lights? There we go. Whoops. Okay, those aren't turning on, but it would normally be brighter. Got a half bath right off the front door as you're coming in or for the person using the office to utilize. Coat closet as well. And that accent wall continues. And you can see how large this space is with how big the couch is, which I'll come back to in a moment, how huge this island is. And then they have a nice long dining table they fit into over there, right there. This is the view from your sink. This sink is a little small in my opinion. <laughs> I'm sure you can upgrade to get a bigger one. Possibly. Depends on what Lennar's doing right now. All right. And you got an unfinished basement that we'll go to in a moment. This is the garage that we're gonna leave closed um, because I have some uh, office supplies in there and whatnot, just a long story. Um, a lot of new build places will use garage for that stuff. So not opening it, but this is where you'd be coming into from the garage into the kitchen, which is nice for transporting grocery. You don't have super far to go. And then you have a pantry right here as well with a built-in shelving. We'll check out the uh, the uh, basement downstairs real quick. It's unfinished, so we will keep it on the quicker side. But here we go. Nice long space to the left. 
ceiling stay nice and high. By the way, guys, if you are not familiar with this, it does not, it's really important to know that it doesn't matter when any of my new construction home tour videos were posted. Sorry for the finger there. Um, you can shop for your new build home on my channel, whether the video is a day old or five years old, because builders are always building new communities and taking these model homes and plugging them into those new communities. So we're in the pinnacle right now from Lennar. In five years, and you're watching this, is this pinnacle still available, this exact one I'm in? Probably not, <laughs> very much so, most likely not. However, I can help put together a list of where else they're building the pinnacle or where they're building other models like it. So if I can do anything to be helpful in that regard, feel free to reach out, but please feel free to watch and shop on my YouTube channel for new construction homes without worrying about the timeline. My contact information is below. You're welcome to utilize it. All right, one final look down here. Now, a lot, very dark day. Lots of light coming in from all the windows. Recessed lighting, of course, is a lot of the heavy lifting, but still having all these windows really brings in a ton of light. I don't think I looked at the patio or at least pointed the camera at the patio. So I'm gonna come back here for a moment patio right off of the kitchen and anybody who hosts quite a bit knows having a patio directly literally directly off of the kitchen is very helpful because people always congregate in the kitchen so uh it's really nice to have the patio right off of that when hosting all right upstairs here we go Step on the last step, boom. See what it's looking like here from this view. Most of the house is behind you. But we still have the primary bedroom here to the right. We're gonna save that for last. Gotta add some drama to this. So the primary bedroom is right off the stairs, which putting my realtor hat on, I don't love because you know. If you got kids or guests or anything like that, and they're going to be going or running down the stairs, they're going to be doing it, boom, right past that door every single time. That might not be a big deal for you. You may be like, cool, got it, don't care. And that's awesome. I just like to point out potential uh, negatives to houses or layouts. Because a lot of times people, you know, they don't look at homes for a living. They don't think about these small details all the time. Sometimes people do. A lot of the lights aren't working right now. Might be because of the weather. <laughs> that's a cool, that's a really cool picture. That is awesome. I love that. It's a good size walk-in closet for a guest bedroom, I gotta say. This is nice. Guest bedroom number two, they have stage as a baby's room. And this baby also gets a very large walk-in closet. For guest bedroom standards at least. It's nice. Guys, if you're digging the content, guess what? Hit like, hit subscribe. It's a cheesy ask, but guess what? It means a lot to me when you hit like and subscribe. Okay, one more guest bedroom, then we're gonna finish off with the primary. Got the linen closet right here. Good shelving as always, Lennar. And then this room has a wee bit of a smaller closet. 
not a walk-in closet. You can give this room to your least favorite kid. <laughs> totally kidding. Sort of. I'm the youngest. I'm I'm the the youngest of three, so you know I can make sibling jokes. All right, guys, ready for the primary bedroom? Let's rock and roll. Walk down this hallway once again with a nice window to bring in some of that light. And here we go, the primary. I like these sinks. Counter setup is nice. It gives some like built in storage stuff. Like, hey, no, like storage, not storage, but like place some things here so this doesn't get muddied and cluddy, muddied, muddied up and with clutter. See if the primary bedroom gets as good of a closet as the guest bedrooms. Yes, it does. I really like having the two, two, two racks there. It's great. Nice storage spots up there. All right, guys, that was Pinnacle from Lenar. What, whoop, there was a linen closet. Did I open that? I don't think I did. But that concludes today's home tour, guys. As I mentioned, I would love for you to leverage the relationships that I have built to your benefit through doing as much work as I've done in new construction. So feel free to reach out. My contact information is below. And once again, yes, I do a lot of work in new construction. I also do a lot of work in resale. So whether you're doing new construction or resale, I'd be more than happy to have a no pressure conversation with you. Feel free to reach out. My information is below. I said that. So all I'll say now is hit like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.